Set amongst mountains and temples, Thailand's northern city of Chiang Mai is a modern and friendly metropolis. A walk along its streets reveals the history of this former northern capital of the ancient Alana Kingdom. Visitors can still see the remnants of the city walls built during the 13th century. In fact, the name Chiang Mai means New Walled City. This monument is here to commemorate the meeting between the kings of Chiang Mai, Lampun and Sukhothai in AD 1276, when they agreed to live peacefully together. Visitors come from all around the world to pay their respects to this monument by giving a why at the monument's base. Test the power of prayer for yourself. This is a great city to explore by bicycle. The streets are wide and easy to negotiate. This is Wat Suan Da. It was built in 1383. Now the significance of this temple is that these jadis here contain the ashes of the royal Lana dynasty. If you like to explore temples, then you'll love Chiang Mai. There are over 300 to enjoy. Our next stop was Doi Su Tem, the famous temple that towers 1,676 meters above the city. I may look like a roadside flower vendor, but I'm actually not. I'm here at the foot of Doi Su Tem to make merit. There's a practice here of making an offering to the Kul Ba Si, which I, before you go up the mountain. <laughs> Visitors offer flowers and light incense before making the climb up the steep mountain. Even though Wat Prathat Doi Tape is the most recently built temple from the Lana Thai period, it's actually the symbol of Chiang Mai. They found the spot for this temple by letting an elephant roam at will along the mountainside. It found its spot by trumpeting once, circling three times, and then sitting down to mark the spot. An auspicious spot for Wat Prathat Doi Sate. There's over 300 steps along this Naga staircase, which I'm now going to try and uh, climb. Doi Sutep is 16 kilometers northwest of the city. The temple was first established in 1383 and contains many interesting corners and courtyards. out of solid gold, but that's not its main significance. Stored deep inside are the remains of the Lord Buddha himself. It was only after walking all the way up that we realized it might be a whole lot quicker to take the cable car. A much easier way to get up and down Doisa Tape is on the cable car. This one's only six months old. 